Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Synthetic Dawn, where we are finally assimilating the Fiasolan Trade Union in our Cooperate or Die series. So they're finally going to cooperate with us, we hope. Or, it's not a matter of hope, I mean they are going to. But we just researched cheaper war demands, which will hopefully help us resolve the war a little bit more easily. We are finishing the construction of our invading armies on Terrell Prime. We have quite an invading army. Can't wait to actually put it to good use. We have this ship in orbit of Terrell Prime. There you are. One of our science ships as well. I think we're going to be ready pretty soon. It might be time to go ahead and pull that trigger. Get this leader replaced. It costs 80 influence. It would be most useful to have... Hang on, let me look at this. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I just need to have a scientist on this. And we're at 80 now, so tell you what, let's go ahead and get that done. Let's get a young scientist. Spark of genius. That's fine. Be done with that. And now you need to resume assisting research. We've been waiting on that for a while. So that's finally done. And now what we can do is we can have our new territory just, if we want, we can just have them start consuming our influence again and colonizing on their own. Because that's what we would use our influence for at this point. For the, for the most part. I mean, the vast majority of it would go to that. Let's see what else we need to do here, though. Yeah, you're still improving that sector. Why don't you go there? Then there. Then there. Then there. Then there. And you are over here. Need to add a bunch more in this area, but looks like an observation post needs to be built there for now. We'll eventually assimilate them. We have a few other, come to think of it, we've got some territories, some particular species in our territory we need to assimilate as well at some point, but I'll get to that for now. We just need to add this to our sector, to the Nedum sector, which is actually a pretty big sector at this point. Might be our largest. Not in terms of number of planets yet, but it might be eventually. Let's take a quick look, given how many resources we have. Let's pause the game and look through our sectors. Also, come to think of it, let me make sure that... Yeah, see, planetary shield generators can be built, which would actually provide more physics and engineering research on a lot of worlds. But at the expense of other things. So, that's an option, but I'm going to keep it in my back pocket for now. Oh, we haven't built a spare parts depot here yet. Really? Is that so? Interesting that we have a mineral processing plant here on a world that pretty much has no other mineral slots. How about we just replace that with a spare parts depot? Alright, and I'm just checking to see what else... What other worlds need additional buildings of any kind? I'm not going to worry too much about the ones I just mentioned yet. Yeah, let's do physics research there. We'll upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that. Place. So the Batharian power plant's been built there automatically. Yup, you need an energy grid. Where do you need one? Let's build one there. Well, actually, this plant is not putting out that much energy, but it's the unity we want from the energy grid, so I will go ahead and put that down. For sure. I mean, that's it's worth having. And this planet will eventually need a mineral processing plant as well, because they're, they are putting out a decent amount of minerals. So let's demolish this, replace it with a mineral processing plant. And, oh, yep, see? I'm going to replace you with an energy grid. There you go. And then I probably need to replace you with a mineral processing plant as well. Okay. That's good. Keep moving. Yeah, these are the worlds in general that still need some attention. 
actually, you know what, let's demolish that and build up. Oh, nope, okay, so I guess the energy grid is already standing here. Where is it? Yep, it's right next to me, actually. didn't see it. All right, that's fine. Not going to lose too much by doing that twice. And then the Mardom sector, I'm guessing there's a lot of love that's needed. Don't have a spare parts depot here. All right, let's do that. And one of these actually would likely need to be a... Nope, it's wrong there too. Yeah, that's where I'm staring at it. I wish they would stand out a little bit more. <laughs> so that that mistake is a little bit harder to make. It's totally a mistake. It's my bad, but it's not going to set me back that much. We'll just rebuild that thing. We've got some pretty nice bonuses now. All right, so I can see a mineral processing plant there. There's an energy nexus there. Okay, we definitely need to upgrade this stuff. And yeah, additional physics lab. And then we just haven't built some of the basics here. Mineral processing plant, yep. And we need to build more pops here. I will do an additional mineral processing plant there. Okay, build multiple, yep, of the new class. We're going to be upgrading to a yet another stage of the Visión pretty soon, and I'm excited about that. But for now, we just need to make sure that it's these guys, actually. So there's already a number of them in existence. But we're going to upgrade the rest of the population to them. And it's going to be amazing. All right, so energy node there. Mining network there. Mining network there. And how about a basic science lab there? That's already a mineral processing plant. Very nice. Okay, that's a basic upgrade that we're looking for. Let's do let's do a mine there. And then eventually that might be a place for a mineral processing plant. All right, so that's that entire sector. And then Netum. This is one that's going to need love. This is our newer sector, but let's see. Yep, you need an energy grid right there. And what we'll probably do is go ahead and demolish this and replace it with a mineral processing plant. There we go. And then I don't think anything else would be needed there. However, we still have some new pops to build. There's that. Actually, can I? Yes, see? <laughs> Uh, this needs to be a mineral processing plant, and then you need to be an energy grid. Done. Holy crap. Look at this. Um, yeah. Let's replace you with... I guess we just need a mineral processing plant somewhere here, but there's not really a lot of minerals on this world, are there? Are there actually not any? So have we already... Yep, there's ener already an energy grid too. So at this point, we just need an uplink node. Let's put that down there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just queue up these upgrades. And again, these buildings are happening a lot faster than they used to, so you're going to see pretty good contribution from the Netum sector. And as a matter of fact, we probably need to change some economic settings for the sectors as far as how much they're contributing, because the Netum sector, sector is on its feet. For sure. Mineral processing plant might be needed here. No, not really. There's no no minerals really to speak of here. Let's do a, sci a bio lab or a is that a bio lab? What would that be called? Yeah, bio lab one. Holy mother of God! Yep. Yeah, see, more and more and more. You need an uplink node. You. Uh, there's nothing really here energy-wise, though. So, tell you what, let's just go ahead and queue up all these upgrades. We'll need to build some additional population on this planet. But that's well within our means. And I think that's most of it. Yeah, we got a few more to build here. We'll come back and queue up more on that planet soon enough. Perfect. All right, let's unpause and keep going. 
So we, I think, are done onto our prime. Nope. Almost. Alright, so these guys are healing up. Let's get them back over here. Alright, Terrell Prime, you go ahead and embark your armies. Alright, so this is the defending army, or the attacking army. And we want to have them come up here to Canopus. And we can also give them a leader after a while. It would cost 80 influence to recruit a leader for this army, but I kind of want to do that. Army upkeep minus 20% too if we go with a systematon 4T. I hear a new tradition. Or no, new physics research actually. Even better. We could do better point defense. Let's actually, uh, yeah, let's do the better point defense because we've been losing ships, I feel like, unnecessarily. What did we just get? Habitability plus five. That's right, we were just getting rid of that from the list. Tomb world habitability boost. Mm. I don't know that this will be useful to me, but I'm going to research it because it's going to be done relatively soon. And I'm just curious to see what options we have as a machine empire, if any. It's a deal, yep. Let's also very quickly make sure we're still getting our research boost. Yep, we are. A system that's on 4L has developed new skills. Okay, cool. So he's an industry researcher now. Does that mean... No, not really researching any industry projects. Professor Zarg has died. So that means we can actually talk to one of the curators. Which one do we want? These guys look pretty cool. Oh. So we would need to recruit them from these guys. Of course you shall you shall have your donation. Now, hmm, research speed plus 15%. Would it be more advantageous? Let's take a second to see about... Now, right now, we're not getting much of a boost from Helperbot N4. We are getting a boost from Kragetron ZM working down here. We're not getting a boost from a Systematon 5B. So I think what I want to do is have him replaced by C Professor Zarg and have 5B... Hop over here. We might eventually move him back because he's a statecraft researcher, but... Alright, and you're in Shukon. So let's have you continue to assist research there. Thank you. And we are halfway to being able to recruit a general to invade the Fiaslavin. We do have cheaper war demands. We need 40%. So we would need to completely overrun their worlds and hope that that was enough. I don't know that it will be. How are we doing on the uh, machine world? About halfway there. Is Cardelia transforming it? Yes, it is. Tiam Prime. What should be our next one? Sheliac Prime, I think, is transforming as well. Yep, it's about halfway done. Kurgaros Prime looks like it's going to be the next candidate. Let's go ahead and make it a machine world. What have we got? Figazar Prime. Okay, so that's all the way over here, which means we've pretty much locked down this part of the galaxy for us. And we can finish constructing stuff in that area. Let's go ahead and add some additional... It's just that one for now, but we'll have more before too much longer. These in particular. Construction-wise, everyone still has a job. That's good. And the first security echelon is ready to go. So is the transport fleet. Let's wait until we have that general. It is absolutely insane how much energy income we still have, in spite of everything. Loving every second of it. Okay, yeah, you need to do a bunch of upgrades. Yep, 
already have the buildings I need here, so we just need to continue to queue these up. Awesome. New colony level there. So the Akram sector is more or less done. Oh, hello. I missed some upgrades there. I'll go back and take a look in a second. energy grid here, do I? I guess I'll do a mineral processing plant. There's some mineral output, just not that much. Energy grid and a mineral processing plant there too, as well as two new population, or three new, excuse me. We have one more mining network that would need to be thrown down, and you need an upgrade. Awesome. Now, I was going to check the sector resource distribution here because you guys can contribute a lot more. And they're all focused on contributing res uh, research as much as possible. Physics is actually the technology category that is suffering the most at the moment. We are almost ready, holy crap, to recruit our general and see what we can do just taking over the Fiasthavan Trade Union by force. All right. Recruit. Yep, army upkeep minus 20%. Assistimaton 4T, you are now in charge. Adju Adjudicator Primus is still in charge, which is just crazy to me. But let's see what we can do now. Just gave the order for both of them to orbit Verano. So they're going to jump together. Anything that's been built there since we were here last should get annihilated pretty damn quickly. Nothing's been built. We're fine. We are fine. We're going to enter orbit. And then we'll go ahead and first of all... Hang on, let's see what our... Let's go ahead and go to full orbital bombardment. I don't know why we don't have that already set up. Alright, so we're currently bombing the ever-living crap out of Verano with the entirety of our fleet. Also, it seems like we are down... How are we still down a Corvette and we have... Oh, we have that frigate still. Okay, well, what Corvette do we need? Chrome Dissolver class Corvette. So noted. Haven't heard this track in a while. All right, let's go up to speed three so that Verano is done sooner than later. Yeah, they're getting just torn apart. I'll go ahead and land armies. Our construction is complete. Planetary infestations begun. Goodbye. All right, they don't stand a chance. They're getting annihilated. Good night. Nice. We have to. We got up to twenty percent with that one attack. So we're definitely going to be able to assimilate them easily. That answers that question. Let's go ahead and take care of Idria. We do have some debris here. I mean, would it be worth it to bring one of our science ships in? Maybe from uh, 
Terrell, because it's not far. To go ahead and do the uh, research project in the system. I mean, I mean, yeah, go ahead and come on in. Because they're not going to be around for much longer. May as well try. Oh, hello. They actually have a fleet. Look at you. So proud of you guys. Hold that thought. Where'd you go? I don't know where you jumped to. You might have jumped all the way over here to Euralian. It's probably what they did, but we're going to take your capital in the meantime. There's not much you can do about it, so... Tell you what, let's go ahead and get the first security echelon to come to Leafy. Join the rest of these guys. Can you guys just land and take this planet? No, not quite yet. Alright, we should be arriving any second now. Yep, they're on the way to Idria in 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. <laughs> and we've arrived. Okay, new society research. Habitability modification. Allows us to change the preferred planet type of a species through genetic modification. I like that idea. So now I have access to an additional core sector system. So we did get an additional option tech-wise that'd be kind of cool. Let's just, let's go for additional army damage though, just to make us stronger against the Mawir. Guarantee revoked. All right, so the Seldean Consolidated Planet States stop guaranteeing the independence of the, of the <laughs> Fiosliven Trade Union, probably because they're being annihilated by a superior force. Just a thought. All right, so now we're going for Leafy. And this might be the end of the war. I'm waiting for that to go away. Land. Planetary infestations are gone. Yep. They are being annihilated. So satisfying. Goodbye. 40%. Alright, let's see if we can go ahead and negotiate for peace. So, no, they are still not quite ready to seed everything yet, but they still have a station that we can annihilate. And that might change their mind slightly. So let's go ahead and embark our armies. They need to heal up for a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. The best possible outcome. So they have surrendered. The Star Nation, formerly known as the Fiosliven Trade Union, has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. Haha. -ha. All right, so let's now make sure that we are assimilating the Fiosliven. Yep, they are already set to assimilation. Where are you guys? Oh, these are not in our empire. No, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. There are 15 pops of robot living on four planets in our empire. I'm not sure what's going on there. But let's go ahead really quickly. Let's apply this template, this one here. To these two pops living here. Research it, please. It'll be done in one month. Old school pops need to be fixed up. All right, you can go ahead and... Actually, that station now belongs to us. Perfect. And the second security echelon is just set to join you guys. You guys can be in orbit of Golden Flower. Okay, so we need to add these to which sector? Probably to Iblaronda sector, right? I think that was the original plan, so let's just do that. Iblaronda, congratulations, you have some new territory, and we also have some work to do now that we've finished that. Come 
come here and research this, and then I want you to auto explore. I also would like the rest of my science, or at least one more science ship to help out with that. Where are you? Let's get the science ship that's in Alor to help out with that. And then auto explore. So we've got two science ships working on that. We have finally assimilated the Fiathlevin Hive. And with that being done, I will go ahead and stop this one here, because that's a good stopping point. And what do we have here? Unrest on Golden Flower. Yeah, just because of that nonsense. Uh, but they're being assimilated, so um, it'll be okay. <laughs> uh, we are 26 months away from our next policy here, so we're going to probably go for inorganic, uh, organic intermediates, or in intermediaries, which will reduce unrest, ironically. But that'll also give us access to the neuroelectric amplifier, which I feel like is an important building for us to have. And I might regret not having it sooner once I finally have it. Okay, so there's been a revolt. Hold that thought. Let's, um... Before I end this episode, let's, let's land our armies and put this revolt down. Alright, we've landed. And the revolt is currently being suppressed. Uh, it's actually a pretty impressive revolt, I have to say. They're doing a good job trying to fight back. They might actually be winning. Holy crap, are they winning? They may actually be winning this. I'm shocked. They're killing our army. All right. They just won the revolt. Let's go ahead and get the... Let's leave so that we save our general. But Golden Flower... Okay, okay, okay. We've got the uh, Fioslavin revolt on our hands, and we're going to have to uh, put them down in the coming episode, but I'll stop this one here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.